You are watching Shoutcraft, exciting entry-level esports commentary with myself, Total Biscuits. Let's make it happen, folks, right here. Oh, yes. You know this map, and why wouldn't you? The wondrous Zelnaga Caverns. White Ra spawning to the bottom of the map in the red trunks, playing Protoss versus his opponent, Cats, in the yellow trunks, playing the one and only Zerg. Now... How would you respond to being 2-1 in a series like this? This is what you have to wonder. You're talking about an amazing player like Katz versus an amazing player like White Ra. How do you respond? Do you try and break out something crazy? Or do you try and stay with something that you know works? Because I have to wonder. I wonder what's running through the minds of players at this situation where you're in a state where you could get knocked out of a tournament in this very game, do you break out the craziness in a hope to catch your opponent off guard, or do you decide to not take that kind of risk? Have to wonder. White Ra looking to be playing fairly close to his chest right here. Got 12 supply, no gateway yet. Looking for a gateway now on 13. There we go, gateway on 13 supply. Now the question is, is Cat's gonna go into the fast expansion? Possibility. Hasn't done it yet, though. Out comes the scout. He's got 15 supply right now. 16 on the way. Looks like they're going to miss each other. How unfortunate. Missed rendezvous. They should probably post on Craigslist about that. Lonely drone looking for companionship. Probes only. That's just weird. There we go. Expansion right here for cats. Straight into it. And the extractor directly following that one up. Looking, of course, for speedlings. Early on in the game. White Ross scouts it. Probably feeling pretty cool and confident right now. Cats has a bit of a nibble. Not that that's going to do an awful lot. But hey, you might as well. What else are you going to do with a bloody thing? Very standard build here from Ross. Straight into the cybernetics core. Feeling pretty calm. Not going to pull out any craziness. Thinks he can just beat his opponent in a straight-up fight, and he may very well be right. And, of course, he's made sure that no nonsense is happening up right here. I mean, bear in mind, it's way more difficult to pull off that proxy hatchery lock with such a small base area here. And he's not going to be able to slide past that without being noticed. White Rock continues with the scout, sees what's coming up. He will be well aware of that, but got to be sure. You can never be 100% certain with a player like Katz with that kind of craziness that he's had going on earlier. You can't trust him, folks. He's the kind of Zerg player that if you gave him the chance, he'd sneak into your bedroom and steal your wallet and then run off giggling. You know it would. You know it. And you know, you wouldn't even be able to be mad at him. You just wouldn't. Because you know he's so good at what he does. You gotta have some kind of respect for that kind of devious mind. Calm before the storm, as you might expect. Second gateway on its way. Double queen. Metabolic boost for cats. Nothing out of the ordinary. And indeed, can cats beat White Ra in a straight up fight? Well, we're about to find out. That's what he's going to try and do. Playing it pretty damn safe so far. Another gateway on the way. Ra possibly going for something that I've seen him do a couple of times already, which is the five gateway, one base pressure build, which doesn't make any sense. You know, we can call it whatever we like. The five gateway, one pr base pressure build. God, that sounds so dorky, doesn't it? We need a cool name for it. Come up with something. We call it you know, the White Ra Extravaganza, something like that. That works. Yeah, so he's going for the White Ra Extravaganza build. I'm going to throw more jargon down your throat just to make matters worse for you. That's a possibility. He could be going for that. We've seen it work, and the amount of stuff that he can actually do with that build is unbelievable. I've seen him apply massive pressure to Zerg players with it. It's worked really well. Three gateway for the time being. Going through to the warp gate. No proxy pylon as of yet, but looking for maybe sneaking one in here for good measure. Might sneak... I'd put it here. Honestly. I mean, why wouldn't you? Hide it behind the bushes. Is Cat's going to scout it, I wonder? Placement for it, potentially. A lot more sentries coming out, which might indicate that he's looking to defend a expansion here. Certainly a possibility. Not looking, perhaps, for the one base approach. There we go. There's the spot. No proxy pylon there by Ra. It's quite surprising. I thought maybe you'd just take the opportunity to dump that there. But then again, he is fairly limited in terms of his resources. Splat. That is going to take a little bit of cleaning up. Ra still sitting on three gateways. 
Nexus coming up, pylon to back it up. His forces consist of the following. Three stalkers, four sentry, two zealots. Up against five zerglings, two queens from Katz. Katz just taking his way through to Lair. Roach Warren coming up as well as an option. We've never ever seen Katz be able to break out the Lair unit. In comes a tiny little harassment force of speedlings in from the side. Are they going to be able to slide in? I'm thinking probably not. But you never know. You never know. Maybe they can grab that probe while they're there. Well, you'll lose the Zerglings in the process. Oh, he only loses one. Fantastic little bit of micromanagement there. Definitely worth the cost. I'm thinking, huh, is it really worth it to take out a single probe? Well, he didn't have to make that choice, did he? More Zerglings on the way. Another gateway. Now into four gate. Four Duck Load Ra. Some of my newer viewers maybe get confused. Duck Load Ra? White Ra? Duck Load is a sponsor, ladies and gentlemen. They have a duck as their logo. Are you remotely surprised by this? It would be a little bit weird. Well, we're called Duckload, and for our logo, I don't know, we have a hamster. Or a guinea pig. I heard our Tosis likes those. Forces right here. Pretty damn strong for both, but I have to say, Cat's economy is streaming ahead, because of course, it's going completely unmolested. That is a dangerous thing. A very dangerous thing to do with the Zerg. Right now, he's got 47 harvesters against 32 for Ra. Ra's getting about a thousand minerals coming in versus 1,300. And what I have to point out as well is the massive gas difference. Now, it looks like Katz is going to finally get the opportunity he's always dreamed of of actually getting some lair units onto the field. Sounds like a plan. However, Ra's thinking maybe not. In comes the aggression, and once again, that supply line that he builds up of the pylons right there snipes off a creep tumor as he passes, perhaps out of spite, perhaps out of necessity. Ten Stalkers, four Zealots, seven Sentries moving in right here. Cats with a meet-up, and in he goes, charging in right here. And he, no, he just can't do it. He doesn't quite have the numbers, but he's got more on the way. That's the most important thing. Borotech on the way, as well as five Roaches. Snipes off one, snipes off two, snipes off three. Supply blocked. Supply blocked right there. Our Ra is pretty confident about his ability to deal with this, and he wouldn't really blame him, honestly. Now annihilating, carving his way there through the Roaches. Takes very bare minimum casualties. Reinforcers coming on right there. Reinforcers from the main base. Don't get in there. Oh, God, this could be the end. This could potentially be the end for Cats. Cats right here, driving him away. That absolutely fantastic play there with the supply block. It was good stuff, no doubt about that. Delayed the reinforcements, blocked the ones for the base in, and it continues to push forward with an amazing force. White Ra continues the aggression, and you know for a fact that he wants blood. He's going for the jugular. He's going for the throat. It's the same thing. I don't really care. He's going to take the natural expansion anyway. You know it. Pilot coming in right here for reinforcements. What the hell is Cats going to do right now? Honestly, nothing. He doesn't have anything he can do at this point in time other than try and relax on his base. He's lost yet more overloads. Can't even build any units. Expansion is dead. Final last stand as far as I'm concerned for the Roaches there, but I'm sorry. Just numbers are not in his favor. He pumps out yet more. He's looking for the focus fire and he gets it. Zealous coming in from the side to try and deal big damage. That's exactly what they do. Carving their way through the Roaches right here. More Stalkers on their way. Can he continue with the reinforcements? 11 Roaches available versus 8 Stalkers and 2 Sentry. Oh wow, there you go. Force field at the ramp. Blocks him in right there. Now looking to do massive damage to the main base. Can he do it? Snipes off yet more overlords. Once again, supply blocks his opponent. It's great stuff right here. Roaches maps looking to take out that pylon. Now they're alone, folks. Now Duck Lord Ra is alone on that one. That's what he's looking to do. He's looking to do. He's looking to give him the finishing blow. The coup de grace. It is a possibility. It's very likely he's losing a few stalkers right here. Reinforcements finally breaking their way through. 10 sentries. No, 10 stalkers. 10 sentries would be weird. 10 stalkers, 14 roaches. 9 and loses one, loses another. They are battle worn, folks. Cats with a desperate defense, but a deft one. He takes him down. Holy crap. That right there was knife edge. Roots, cats, defends it against all odds. Loses an expansion, still defends it now with a counter attack. 14 roaches on the way. His opponent has only four stalkers, a sentry, three zealots. Needs more warping. Cannons, Stargate coming in. Takes out that reinforcement pylon as he goes. This battle force of roaches could be the undoing of this expansion, but the longer they wait, the less likely that's going to be. Cannons up. It's a good setup as well. You see that cannon setup. That is a solid cannon setup. No question about that. They're going to take them out. Second wave, third wave, not enough. Already snipes off a few roaches. Roaches being driven away. Oh, yes. Look at to do it, but he does a great job of boring them there to save their asses. Now he's got 18 up. Sniping once again at the Zealous. Going to take out one with each wave. Brings in reinforcements. There's the force field block. Was it effective? Not all that much. Ra continuing to focus 
as much fire as he can. Looking to get the defense, and it's a good one. Takes the roaches out. There we go. Carving his way through. Good game, ladies and gentlemen. And that was good freaking game. Ra takes it 3-1. to one. Cats with an amazing defense. Absolutely fantastic play, but it just isn't enough. Unbelievable. White Ra advances, ladies and gentlemen. Holy hell.